Yeah, I'm I'm not actually sure, Drew, if um, you're in conversation at the moment. Um, I am losing the skip right now. It's just started to fade away very rapid, my friend. So um, I'll just uh, try myself for that call there that came in. That uh, station that called in there, uh, go ahead, my friend. We are listening. Okay, Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. This is 3-1, Yankee Zulu 529, Operator Michael, in south part of Portugal. You booming in here in south Portugal in 9 plus 10, Radio Super 5, but the other station in New York, I cannot copy. Over. Uh, over, over, my friend. Uh, 3 1 Yankee Zulu 529. I uh, didn't uh, quite catch the uh, operator name there. Did you say Michael, my friend? Confirm, QSL. Roger, Roger, Michael. Mike India Charlie Hotel Echo Lima. Michael, South Portugal, over. Okay, uh, Michael in South Portugal. Exceptional quality on your audio, my friend. You are working very, very well into my station. I have you on uh, Radio 5 and your signal is 910, my friend, QSL. Yeah, Roger, the same for you. You're booming in here. Uh, <laughs> and I listen a little bit. Yeah, you only get uh, 50 watts. I have around, uh, I don't know, 100 whiskey, what the drink gives me here. The ICOM 7300. But uh, it's a pity that I don't can copy the station from New York. Uh, okay, my antenna is in direction of uh, northeast uh, Europe and to Poland, Finland, Germany, Switzerland, Austria. And uh, yeah, but you get a really great signal here. 9 plus 10. Uh, congratulations. Uh, thank you for the flowers, uh, Michael, and many in return. Your station working exceptional and uh, very, very good audio on your radio. Your seven three zero zero. What uh, antenna, Michael, are you using? QSL. Okay, Roger. My antenna is a homebrew Moxon antenna. Uh, it's a Moxon seven eight zero seven eight eight 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 seven eight e
that's great signals and I hope it will stay for some days to this kind of thing because I also hear this morning, I don't have contact, but I hear Japan and South Korea and uh, normally I don't have a chance to hear from South Portugal to get there. My, uh, mostly I can go on the other side to New Zealand, Australia, Patagonia and South America, but uh, there in China, Asia region is sometimes, I think I have a, a bad hill here that blocks my uh, signals and I think I have to put the caterpillar and take the hill a little bit down. <laughs> okay, India, over. <laughs> all received David yes um, uh, sorry all received uh, Michael sorry apologies for that my friend yes uh, the Asia countries uh, can be very difficult on 11 meters um, uh, Michael can be very difficult indeed at times for us to make contact so it is always uh, nice when we uh, when we can uh, share mother nature and um, and we can get those signals in I have never had Japan uh, Never had Japan in 47 years on the radio, uh, uh, Michael. Never had Japan. I've had China uh, one time, but never had Japan. And it is on my uh, list of, um, of divisions to uh, obtain there. But um, it is good to know that they are coming in. I did know they was working 12 metres, um, uh, maybe last month, the month before. But I'm, I'm waiting to listen out, and I am listening out for Japan on 11 metres, uh, Michael Kiyosel. Yeah, Roger, I can confirm it. Yeah, it's really hard to get it. Uh, it's more easy on a uh, on 40 metre band or, or 80 metre band with CW, but uh, yeah, that is not the challenge. The challenge is for me always the 10 and 11 metre band. But I prefer the 11 meter. I don't know why that happens more than 40 years in my mind. It's always my magic band. Okay, it's also more easy to build nice antennas. It's not so big. And um, it's easy to do it with uh, things that you get in a normal shop to buy it. And here in South Portugal, it's not easy to get uh, aluminum tubes to build uh, nice antennas. But in the end, uh, yeah, it works all the time. And if you have the nice, uh, how you call it, tools to measure antennas like Rig Expert or Nano VNA that helps you really great to build uh, new antennas. I just built two days ago a new one, a spider beam for QRP mode. And uh, then just finish. I only need some to stabilize the post on exactly length and uh, some colors that the people don't walk in the lines and uh, yeah, in the end of February we want to go with some friends uh, like a field day uh, to go to the hills have barbecue and uh, yeah, have some pleasure and fun uh, on the radio and different bands also and we'll see what's going on back to you Glenn Okay, I'll receive Mr. Michael. I did notice the propagation was uh, falling away a little bit. Uh, it's taken about uh, uh, four S points off your signal, uh, uh, Michael, but I still have you in there on about a 5, a five four five five with very good strong audio. Yes, I, I use Rig Expert um, um, a year or so ago. I built two uh, Moxon antenna. Uh, uh, they... Um, uh, two different uh, gauge uh, wire to try uh, uh, how wide the frequency and also power to run through them, uh, Michael. So I, I do dabble in uh, making uh, some antennas at times, but uh, Rig Expert, uh, very, very good uh, piece of equipment for making antennas with. So I do hope you have uh, many, many uh, uh, good luck uh, with your QRP uh, antenna. That's uh, very interesting uh, there, Michael QSL. directly 5 by 9 in the Rio de Janeiro and then I was happy 
uh, that uh, still works everything fine. And I had the antenna just two and a half meter above the ground, and it was already working perfectly. Yeah, uh, that's the kind of things. And for the wirings, uh, I tested also different wires, and uh, the best for me was the transparent loudspeaker cables, two and a half square millimeters. I have a better bandwidth, uh, and uh, yeah, it was easily to 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 span it over the the spreaders, and now I think I just made again a good one. We'll have a look what uh, is needed in the future. Uh, other ideas. Uh, I also have in my mind uh, Hotel Bravo 9 uh, Charlie Victor antenna. HP9 is a CV antenna and uh, we'll look how I build it, but that I need to build it is then with aluminium tubes, over. Yeah, over, over, Michael. Uh, yes, uh, as you say, uh, aluminium tubing can be very expensive also and uh, getting uh, the uh, right length as well. I always save my broken antennas, uh, Michael, so I can uh, build antennas from those. But um, I always have difficulty when I have to make a bend like uh, four Moxon. Um, but I, I, uh, I tried building two Moxons, like I say, um, from two, two different gauge uh, wires. Um, I never actually got around to testing them. So maybe something for the future there. But uh, one antenna I do want to try in the spring when the weather gets a little bit better is a Delta Loop there, um, uh, Michael Curacao. works uh, super fine and uh, I had also before I just moved two weeks three weeks ago to a new house and before I had also project to build a three element cubical quad uh, because I'm not uh, a fan of amplifiers uh, I only use what the rig gives me but I look that antenna works perfectly and it's in nice uh, resonance and uh, a cubicle quad is always my dream, but I don't think I will do it here in that house because we only rent it, and uh, if it's rented, then you cannot drill so much holes and everything. What you need over? Yeah, QSL there, Michael. Yes, it's uh, it's always um, you know um, when when we when we cannot get permission or or sometimes the property may not be. Uh, correct uh, adequate enough uh, for building uh, such a cubicle quad size antenna but um, i'm sure that one day uh, michael that uh, you will make that antenna and it will work very well there qsl yeah thank you very much and yeah i hope also that one day comes but i already have also some windings on my coil and uh, i'm not so young uh, anymore that i can do everything what i want especially not to climb up some posts or go with the ladder on uh, uh, a difficult uh, process yeah anyway yeah Swain, it was so the pleasure to talk with you i have to go for lunch and check what the dog is do a coffee is also needed and the secret i just come quick back from work and uh, i have to some things again this afternoon. Yeah, Glenn, it was so the pleasure. I appreciate the contact. I hope that we can catch each other again on these frequencies. And uh, yeah, back to you for the final. Okay, Michael, thank you very much anyway. And uh, also thank you for your patience uh, very early on uh, when we was trying to sort out who was on the frequency and who could hear who. But um, I am recording uh, this uh, conversation, uh, Michael, and with your permission, I can put it up uh, on my friend's uh, on my friend's uh, channel, which is uh, CB Radio Ghost Talk. He, that is uh, New York two zero two uh, Drew, um, who is in uh, upstate New York, who I tried to uh, see if he could hear your station. Um, so. Uh, yes, uh, Michael, with your permission, uh, I, I can put this video up for you to listen to, to see how good you came into my radio today, QSL. Yeah, Roger, Roger, Glenn, you got my permission.
Operation 100 percent, no problems at all. And uh, yeah, I appreciate again uh, the contact and uh, say at the Proxima. Thank you very much. I wish you the very best. 73 5155. Everything what is needed uh, and the most important. Have a good health all the time. And see you next time. This is 3 1 Yankee Zulu 529 with 26 Delta X ray 444. And thank you very much, Michael, for the contact today. It was a pleasure, my friend, to speak with you and a very nice conversation we had also. Okay, uh, 3 1 Yankee Zulu 529. Mr. Michael out there in uh, South Portugal from Faro. Very, very good day to you, my friend. Excellent, uh, your station. Excellent, my friend. From 26 Delta X ray 444 operator Glenn waving bye 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 in 73 to you, my friend. Always a pleasure. Glenn, Pierce and Pierce, at the Proxima. Bye-bye, my friends, 73.